Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be talking about some books that I hope to read this spring. <sighs> now I've had a really tough time with making this video or deciding to make this video because TBRs and I don't necessarily get along but I've implemented a TBR jar into my TBR process this year and I've been doing pretty well. So I thought that I would take it one step further and do a spring TBR. Now I have done one of these videos before and I will link it down below if you want to go check that out. I did it a few I did it a few years ago. So I will go ahead and share with you some of the books that I hope to read this spring. These are books that have been on my TBR for quite some time and then I also have some new releases on here as well. So without further ado, let's begin. So first up I have Attachments by Rainbow Rowell and this has been a book that I've been wanting to read for years now. It's been on my TBR for a few years. It's a romantic comedy and it is about kind of two co-workers who start a thing and it says, hi, I'm the guy who reads your email and also I love you. <laughs> so we have two best friends, Beth and Jennifer, and they work for the same company and they kind of know that, you know, there's someone out there whose job it is to monitor their emails and they work in a newsroom and it's company policy, so they're completely aware of this. But they just can't quite bring themselves to take it seriously and they're always sending each other these hilarious emails at work, just chronicling their lives and spilling juicy secrets and just everything. Meanwhile, we have Lincoln O'Neill, who, you guessed it, it's his job to read the emails. He kind of can't believe that it's his job now, but it is what it is. When he applied to the newsroom to be the internet security officer, he thought he'd be building firewalls and other such important work, but ah, uh, nope, nope just monitoring people's emails. And of course, Lincoln comes across Beth and Jennifer's emails to each other and he just can't quite help himself but become immersed in them and truly start reading them and, you know, just getting involved in their lives via their work emails. He knows he should turn them in but he just can't quite bring himself to do it because he's so captivated and entertained. And over time, Lincoln starts to realize that he's falling in love with Beth. But is it too late to introduce himself at this point? What would he say? So yeah, I believe this book takes place in the 90s, I think, or early 2000s. I'm not 100% sure, but I do know that it doesn't take place in this present time. But I'm super excited to finally get to this, hopefully, this spring. Next up is Laura Hillenbrand's Unbroken, and this is a survival tale. It was made into a film starring Angelina Jolie, I believe, or did Angelina... No, 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 the Angelina Jolie directed, I believe, not starring her, because it tells a tale of this man's life, and this man has been to hell and back. I meant to read this book for years now. My best friend, this is her favorite book, so I've always been intrigued ever since she told me that. She read it, and she said it changed her life. So we have Louis Zemperini, I believe, and he's kind of a teenage delinquent, so to speak, and his delinquency carries him somehow to the Olympics, the Berlin Olympics to be specific, and basically he just challenged all of his delinquent energy into running and that's what got him to the Berlin Olympics, but then World War II happens. And he becomes an airman and he goes on a journey that, oh, is kind of doomed from the start. His army air forces bomber crashes into the Pacific Ocean and against all odds, he survives. He is left adrift on this floundering life raft and, you know, he just, it, there's endless ocean in front of him, it's just him, lots of sharks, I mean, he almost starves to death, it's definitely a survival story, to say the least. It says, driven to the limits of endurance, Zamperini would answer desperation with ingenuity, suffering with hope, resolve, and humor, brutality with rebellion. His fate, whether triumph or tragedy, would be suspended on the fraying wire of his will. So yeah, like I said, there's a film out, so I definitely want to check that out at some point. But this is a big one, so pray for me, guys, that I get to this this spring. Next up is a kind of fluffy young adult read, and this is Friday until Friday night. I almost said Friday Night Lights, but no, this is until Friday night. I think I talked about this in a recent video, um, maybe this, like, about a year ago or so. I think I featured this in a haul where I went to great detail, so I will link that haul down below. But basically, this is a coming-of-age story, and it is also a romance, and it features a male and female protagonist. I believe the male is a quarterback, I want to say. Um, yes, Maggie and West, and they both have suffered losses that have kind of hit them hard and taken a toll on their families, and it's kind of like how they're trying to recover from those losses, and of course they meet each other, and I'm sure they help each other along their journey. Next up is another young adult book. It's a 
fantasy or fairy tale retelling and it's a book I've read before. I've been wanting to reread it for ages because I want to get to the sequel finally, dang it. And I've talked about this book a ton on my channel. This is Roses by G.R. Mannering and then the sequel is Feathers. So I want to get to these two super soon. Roses is a retelling of Beauty and the Beast and Feathers, I want to say the Swan Princess Prince, one of those, something like that. I don't know y'all. I don't know. Something like that. It's a fairy tale. Fairy tale retelling. Yeah. I highly recommend Roses, by the way. And I have also mentioned numerous times that the author is a booktuber whom I love. Channel link down below. Next up is a new release, a book that came out last Tuesday, and this is Restore Me by Tahera Mafi. And this is the fourth book that we weren't expecting, but desperately wanted, but never thought that we would get from the Shatter Me series. So if you haven't read the Shatter Me series, I don't know what you're waiting on. Have you been living under a rock? It was definitely a huge series a couple years ago. I highly recommend the series. So good. I highly enjoyed it. So I'm definitely looking forward to reading this newest installment. To say that I am anticipating this read would be an understatement. But yes, beautiful cover too. Next up is another new release that came out last Tuesday and I believe this might be the most highly anticipated new release of the year for the young adult genre, definitely for this particular publisher. And this is Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Adeyemi. And this book has already broken so many records. I think it already has a movie deal. I mean, it's just amazing. It's been hyped up so much and I've heard nothing but great things, so I'm definitely looking forward to it. It certainly doesn't hurt that the author is Nigerian-American like myself, so I feel personally connected to her in that way. And this is a fantasy based on West African mythology, which, I mean, I've never heard of anything like this in New Adult before, so I'm super hyped for this. This is definitely going to be the start of something great. This is book one in a series. I believe she just recently completed her second book in the series because I follow her on Instagram so I know that. So it's definitely moving forward and I'm super excited. I cannot wait to dive into this. Next up are two books that I was just dying to get my hands on so I'm glad I finally did back in January. The first one is The Bear and the Nightingale. This is by Catherine Arden. This is a fantasy and I've heard nothing but rave things about this series. It is a Russian fantasy I believe. I've heard it's lush and evocative and creepy and imaginative and different and oh, I cannot wait. It's very fairy tale like which you guys know I love fairy tales. And so I went ahead and picked up the sequel which came out recently, The Girl in the Tower. So once I read The Bear and the Nightingale, I will qu quickly rush to pick up The Girl in the Tower. So I've got both of them in my hands. Super excited to see where this series takes me. And that is it. I don't and that is it. I don't want to be too greedy, but here is my spring TBR. Of course, I have other books that I pick out every single month from my TBR jar. So this is definitely highly ambitious of me, but I, I think I can get to at least, you know, a couple of these before the summertime, right? Maybe? We'll see. Well, that is it for this video, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Ta-ta, darlings. Bye. Not really a mystery thriller type of person, so the only other options were an adult novel and then this, which is a young adult debut novel. Emily XR Pan. Just ignore Teddy if you hear any strange noises. But this says, I didn't cry. That was not my mother. My mother is free in the sky. My mother is a bird. Lee Chen Sanders is absolutely certain about one thing. When her mother died by suicide, she turned into a bird. Lee